Systems Modeling and Analysis is a new PhD program that combines the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics and the mathematical biology, the discrete mathematics, the network analysis with statistics and operations research. So to support the PhD program, the Department of Statistical Sciences and Operations Research collaborates with the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics. All of these areas really are applied mathematics, whether it's mathematical biology, statistics, operations research. We focus on modeling real world systems to help improve them. Normally, people specialize in their own areas, and so you don't really see the integration of these different techniques. We have faculty and PhD students working at those boundaries and using combinations of techniques from the different fields to drive forward the research in each area. Faculty collaboration between the disciplines has become very natural. Because a lot of the faculty work on modeling real-world systems, a lot of the time those models cannot just involve one specific technique and therefore they bring together people from the different fields across the two departments to develop a more robust model and a more complete solution. The collaboration between the Department of Mathematics and Applied Mathematics and the Department of Statistical Sciences and Operations Research is very important because it does provide our students with an opportunity to work directly with our faculty members, particularly those that are supported with research grants so that those students get real world experience but they also have the opportunity to have on their resumes the fact that they have been supported by these, these grants. Operations research is mathematics applied to management problems and you can think of using these uh, modeling paradigms traditionally to, uh, for scheduling and logistic problems but also you can think of applying these modeling paradigms to other fields for example, you can imagine modeling a cellular organism that's trying to optimize its resources in order to maximize growth. We have other schools of business engineering and medicine that we collaborate with. They're also physically here, and, and I think that makes a big difference to be able to have access to attend meetings with interdisciplinary teams where these different viewpoints are being shared and um, in, in, in the goal of advancing science. The faculty members from different units and different programs are always seeking opportunities to collaborate. We collaborate to develop a cutting edge uh, academic programs, research opportunities, and also expanding our, expand our research networks. Nowadays, our students are graduating into an increasingly integrated global environment. At VCU, we realize it is more and more important to create educational environment where the students can appreciate the complexity of the global environment and also to develop necessary skills to navigate it successfully. Certainly, international outreach and uh, initiatives can enrich our institutional culture. The math department works in collaboration with the Statistics and Operations Research Department to create the PhD program because we have acquired courses from all three of the disciplines and then students are able to pursue any direction that they're interested in pursuing. So they all start with the same collaborative foundation and then they grow from whatever their interests are. I chose to come to Virginia Commonwealth University because of the large discrete mathematics faculty. And for me, having people that I can talk to and bounce ideas off of and collaborate with is a big deal. And, and Richmond is a great city. Virginia Commonwealth is an attractive university. It's a good place to work. Well, mathematical biology is inherently interdisciplinary. So currently we have faculty collaborating with physiologists, neuroscientists, ecologists, engineers, biochemists, and physicians. And working with an interdisciplinary group provides students with the unique opportunity to be exposed to multiple perspectives on how to approach a research problem. They also can see all aspects of the modeling process, from modeling de model development to uh, mathematical analysis to biological interpretation of their results. VCU is a great place to study biomath. Currently, we have faculty uh, exploring applications of mathematics to areas such as ecology, epidemiology, neuroscience, and medicine, 
We also offer a wide variety of advanced mathematics classes in dynamics, numerics, and mathematical biology. In addition, the unique nature of our hybrid program means that students can take advanced coursework in statistics and operations research and apply those skills to their own research in mathematical biology. I think the future for the PhD in systems modeling and analysis is, is, is very bright. We've already integrated mathematical biology, statistics, operations research. Now we're quite excited that we're bringing in a lot of the strength in the math department is in discrete mathematics. So bringing in the faculty in those areas is again going to add strength and add uh, some interesting areas to the program and also add a new um, arsenal of tools for our students to learn and integrate.